But ask what is uh, positive, negative, toe, camber, caster means. So what is uh, positive camber? What is it? What is negative camber? What is uh, negative toe? What is positive toe? Positive caster, uh, positive uh, negative uh, caster. Um, let me just put this tire on uh, suspension I have here. I'm gonna install this tire on this rim, and I'm gonna show you in real uh, world what all those terms means. Just um, to explain to you, or to, for you to understand, if somebody tells you you have a positive toe or negative toe, uh, positive caster, negative caster, and what they mean on a car. Bear with me one second. Install this tire on so to just put it on a, on a suspension. Just putting this tire on the rim just to show you what I'm gonna do here now.
Okay, I have installed that uh, rim on the knuckle. You can see it right here. So here is the uh, tire that's of the vehicle and the very much the whole thing here, the wheel bearing, the knuckle, lower bolt joint, the whole spindle with the arm. And um, this is a Acura and Honda design. Um, the other other cars, this will be a strut. The strut on the Acura, it comes it comes right here. Okay, it's just a little bit different different design, and the upper control arm comes here to the chassis. Um, uh, if we take a different car, this will be a strut instead of this. It will be a strut like American cars, some vans. Most of it they have a strut instead of the this whole spindle one one unit right here. So here is the wheel, and I'm gonna show you in a minute. Let me just do some demonstration here on my machine. You could see this is caster, and this is um, this is camber right here, and this is toe. Right, so you could see it uh, caster camber toe. I'm gonna show what it means exactly. So as you can see here, this is caster and this is camber and this is two. I'll explain it on, uh, on my uh, wheel, the one I put together here. All right, so just you understand those three here. This is right, this is left. The, other, the last two is the back wheels. So we'll just focus on these two. And as you can see, we just did the two on zero here with the specs. Okay, um, this is the passenger front passenger side. Uh, imagine you're sitting in the driver's seat. So if you're sitting in the driver's in the driver's seat and looking at the on your front passenger tire, as you can see, this is the very much the spindle here, and this is the tire. So if we're saying positive camber. That means your wheel is out this way, away from the car, it's tilting this way. This is the position if you're tired. So it's sitting very much on the edge. You see that? I'm going to exaggerate a little bit so you understand. This is positive camber. So if your tire tilting inward toward the car, I'm talking about the passenger side now. So if you're looking at the driver's side, it's the same thing, but it will, it will be tilting to your right if it's positive, if it's a driver's side. So just do the opposite on, on, on the other wheel. If this is applied for the same thing, the back or the front. So this is negative camber. If it tilts toward the car, it's negative camber. You can see here, it's on the inside edge. Okay, so this is negative. The confusing one is, is the caster, but this is symbol. The camber is very symbol. So again, camber is when, when the tire with the suspension going out away from the car. Okay, whether driver, rear, front, passenger, driver. So this, this is going away. Toe. <clears throat> so toe, if, if, you, if you say you're turning your steering wheel inward like this, this is positive toe. You see how it's sitting? You see this straight line here? That straight line. Okay, so this is positive toe. If it's going out away from the car like this, this is negative toe. Okay, again. Inside the car, positive toe. Outside the car, negative toe. Now caster. Pay attention to caster. I have to go inside here. So let's imagine this is a zero degree. This spindle here at zero degree. If you uh, draw a vertical line, it's at, at, at zero. It's very much a straight up. So when it's in toward you, if you're sitting in the car and this, this thing is like toward you, the more you go like this, this is as positive caster. If it goes away from you, it's negative caster. Toward you, positive. Away from you, negative. So you can see this is the center right here. 
So if you imagine this is an imaginary line here and you go again toward you, you can see how this is tilting. This is positive caster, negative caster. Apply for always the same thing. Front, back, rear, whatever. This is positive, negative. Okay. Most of the caster does not affect uh, the alignment as much if they are both the same degree. But, however, it might cause a lot of pull. And the steering wheel will be very much nasty uh, or behaving uh, bad when you turn. And it's, m many times it does not go back by itself. When you go on turns, full, full turn, it doesn't go back on its own. When you try to adjust, that's what the caster does. So if the caster is good, usually the ceiling uh, is like heaven. It, w it goes left and right, and if you let it go, it will turn back to its original position straight on its own as you're driving. Okay, so I hope I, I explain it as much as I can. This is took a lot of effort. I broke very much my left arm here trying to hold the spindle here all this time. But however, I hope you understand the difference right now. So that's what it means positive, negative uh, for tow, uh, camber and caster. Okay, let's put this tire back. I gotta go back and take that wheel off if you want to watch it to the end to see how I'm gonna take this thing off. I'm gonna remove that uh, tire back of the rim. I just did it for demonstration only.
uh, mission accomplished. So I removed the tire back, get it back where it was. So this is a cast iron camber, and this is how I removed and installed back the tire on uh, on the rim. Thank you for watching.